In this chapter, we are going to study the properties of natural resources. Can you name a few natural substances used by us to fulfill our needs? The sun, forests, coal, petroleum, food, water, air, etc. Life on our planet Earth is dependent on many factors. Basic factors are the energy from the sun, the air to breathe, the water to drink and the food from plants or animals. Air, water and soil where the plants grow are the three most important substances which we call as natural resources. We will study the properties of these three natural resources that are air, water and soil. First, we will study the properties of air. Can you see air? No, we cannot see air. Where is air? Air is all around us. It also covers our planet Earth and we call it atmosphere. If you cannot see air, then how can you say air is all around us? Blow on your hand through your mouth. We can see trees and plants moving on a windy day. While breathing, we inhale air and when we breathe out, we exhale air. Take a balloon, blow air into it. What do you observe? The balloon grows bigger in size. That is, the air occupies space. Take a glass. Invert the glass and try to push it inside without tilting it. Do you observe water entering the glass? No. Why? We say that the glass was empty as we cannot see air. But in actuality, the glass is full of air. Hence, it does not allow water to enter it. We can conclude that air occupies space. Repeat the same experiment by tilting the glass in water. Now, does the water enter the glass? Why, yes, water enters the glass as some air is pushed out by water and this space is taken up by the water. Take a bicycle tube. Deflate it completely. Now weigh it using a spring balance. Note this as W1. Now inflate the tube and again weigh it using the same spring balance. Note this as W2. Do you observe any change in W1 and W2? Are they the same? Which value is more? W2 is greater than W1. Hence, air has mass and weight. Hence, air is matter. Summary In this video, we learned that air, water and soil are three most important natural resources. We cannot see air, but we can feel its presence. Air occupies space and has mass. Now answer the following question. Is air matter or non-matter? Why?